Hi, welcome to today's class. The topic today is meeting people and socializing. Small talk is a very important part of socializing and making friends. It's appropriate in many different situations, such as talking to a delivery man to avoid awkward silences, making friends at a new job or at university, establishing a business relationship, whether it be with a client or a business partner, and of course trying to get a date. The truth is that small talk and socializing are unavoidable. We don't really have a choice, so it's better to be good at it than not, especially in English-speaking cultures. So the first tip here is to make the person feel comfortable by keeping things light and positive. Avoid making any negative comments. Politics and religion are not considered safe subjects to discuss during small talk. Giving a strong opinion about a controversial subject is not appropriate either with someone you don't know. You can compliment a woman's clothing but talking about body parts would most likely be considered crossing the line. In most Western cultures, it's not appropriate to discuss salaries or personal information relating to work. Take the hint when the other person implies they want to end the conversation. Remember, if you're shy or you don't know what to say, you may be mistaken for being rude. Always think of a response when someone speaks directly to you. So here are some examples of statements you can make during small talk. Engage the other person. Always be prepared to follow up with a question or statement. For example, how about you? Oh really? I really enjoyed that book, or movie, and so on. Wait is a very direct word that should be avoided. You could say, oh, before you go, or I don't want to keep you, but if you have something very important to add or ask. In a communal environment, like an office, you can try one of the following openers. Try to use an open-ended question so the person has to respond, preferably not with a yes or no answer. Here are some examples. You look like you could do with a coffee. Looking forward to the weekend? Have you worked here long? Be mindful that too many questions will make the person feel like he's being interrogated. Try to find common ground with the person. This can be anything that you can both relate to that can help to establish a connection. So, how do you know... Kevin is hilarious, isn't he? Have you ever had a chance to... Evan throws the most amazing parties. I'm reading a book by... Do you like... The train seems to be running late. How long have you been waiting? I didn't think it would be so busy today. These are very common statements, but slightly negative. They're not likely to get you a positive response. So if you use them, it would be a good idea to follow them up with something more positive. At least it's supposed to be a nice weekend. I've heard that they're calling for blue skies. Talking about the weather is also very common, but a bit boring and it doesn't really lead anywhere. Did you catch the news today? Talking about current affairs can be good. If they say no, you can inform them of what happened, leading to a longer conversation. Beware that they might say no 
because they don't want to talk. Who do you think is going to win tonight? Talking about a major sporting event can be good because most people will have an opinion. If they don't like sports, be ready to back out and change the subject. Neither do I, but everyone seems to be obsessed with it. So what do you do if you have trouble coming up with questions or things to say? Some of the easiest and best questions simply come from observing people and their surroundings. You're reading... That's my favorite book. What do you think of it? I couldn't help but notice that you're a fan of... How do you think they'll do this year? How do you like your new car? Where did you get your hair cut? I'm looking for a good barber. Taking the time to listen will allow you to respond to something the person said and show them you're interested. You mentioned you were from... What part? You made an interesting point about... Give them a compliment and then follow it up with a question. That's a really nice... Where did you get it? Nice dance moves. Did you take classes? End the conversation politely. It's been great talking to you. When can we do this again? I'd love to talk more about... Give me your number. I wish I could keep talking to you, but my ride home is about to leave. I'm sure I'll see you soon, though. And that brings us to the end of the class. For more information on our one-to-one -one classes with a native speaking teacher, please visit speakeasy1to1.com. Thanks for watching.